Certainly, the brand needs supports and quickly. Thankfully, things are beginning to move, which stands throughout all sections. As an example, they just introduced the first ever Q6 and SQ6 e-tron all-electric models, and obviously, the IC-powered Audi Q5's third generation is additionally simply around the corner. There will certainly additionally be an all-new, first-ever Q9 frontrunner three-row crossover SUV that will certainly much better deal with American clients while combating the eccentric BMW X7 with the hideous split headlight LCI and the traditionalist Mercedes-Benz GLS. But Audi is not abandoning auto either. Instead, they are finally dropping the complex 55 TFSI or 40 TDI engine naming scheme and instead wish to make us desert the old ways of the A4, A6, or A8 with a transfer to strange numbers for the IC-powered versions while the even ones will only be made use of for e-tron designs. We assumed that it was enough if they made use of the e-tron moniker for the electrical versions and everybody would have recognized, however that's just us simpletons. Anyway, that suggests the upcoming B10 Audi A4 Luxury Small Exec Vehicle Series will be moved to the A5 name, which is expected to obtain crowded with sedan, station wagon, all-terrain touring, sports car, cabriolet, and sportback versions. Of course, Audi could determine to lose weight the model line and desert a few of the body styles, but that stays to be seen during the official exposes. Do keep in mind to take every one of this with a healthy dose of salt as absolutely nothing is official from Audi just yet concerning the destiny of the A5 collection, however the host believes that Audi Sport will certainly amaze the existing 2.9-liter V6 TFSI engine used in the RS4 to make it a possible beast with as much as 700 horsepower. That's way greater than what the 503 horsepower BMW M3 Competition X-Drive Touring has to offer, and it's even over the Audi RS6 Avant Efficiency or GT Scandal Sheet. So, if you ask us, it's a little hard to believe even with a PHEV configuration. On the other hand, the resident Pixel Master did a fine task presuming the potential looks of the Audi RS5 Avant layout based upon spies of the A5 and S5 series. As constantly, there are additionally a great deal of shade choices for the outside, and they even shared a glance of the cabin. So, what do you believe? Will Audi risk to trespass into midsize area with such a powerful RS5? Or are they merely mosting likely to attempt and give the G81 BMW M3 Touring a wonderful run for its Bavarian cash?